Okay, so Chrysler has started getting the Pacificas, which is basically a replacement for the uh, town and country minivans. And uh, these things basically, just like the rest of the cars, offer the 3.6 liter V6 engine, and they also offer um, an eight speed transmission. Now, what's coming soon is the plug-in hybrid version. Now, instead of the eight speed, this one actually has the nine speed. So that means that it's got the nine speed transmission with the dial. It looks like instead of just using more eight speeds, they're trying to go to the nine speed. And some people are saying, oh yeah, well, I don't really see a benefit of the nine speed. Some people are saying the ninth gear is something you almost never get to unless you're doing like heavy highway speeds. So they've got, this is the outgoing minivan and this is the incoming minivan. Now, normally I would never be really, you know, doing one of these little videos, except I just wanted to take a quickie look at it and see what it is Chrysler's doing now. So that's the old one and this is the new one. And uh, basically, I already pretty much know a lot of what to expect because I saw this at the uh, New York International Auto Show already. But uh, this is going to be obviously one of their volume sellers. So because it's going to be a volume seller, that makes it important. And um, in the back, they have all types of entertainment features for the kids. They can play games like checkers. They can play, um, you know, solitaire, chess, uh, pretty much like simple, basic car games. And uh, the key features, it says you have seating for eight people, heated and ventilated uh, front seats. So basically, it's all the technology that you already know and expect from the uh, current Chrysler models and the current Jeep models, right? So um, they have the stow-and-go seating, which has put basically Chrysler in front of most of its competition. And as you can see inside, this one, it hasn't actually been prepped to sell, so they're just using them to, you know, to show off what the new stuff is. But uh, basically, you can see you get the armrest, the 9 speed transmission dial, the same technology from, you know, every single other car they got, the new transmission. Um, and once again, a lot of people complain about it, but me personally, you know, it really doesn't matter because the 3.6 liter is a pretty strong transmission. So, you know, you pull that handle, it automatically retracts. That's nice. But that's what that's what Chrysler's always been known for. It's like the uh, the ease of use of their minivans is what's put them on the map. And even Honda hasn't figured out a way to beat Chrysler when it comes to the minivan. And this thing looks damn good. And I remember when um, when we actually bought a nice town and country. I remember how they were advertising. They had seats that you could turn around and you could face the opposite direction in order to. Um, in order to, uh, you know, they had like a, a card table and everything in here. And, and a lot of that stuff was a little excessive because the only problem is, you know, there's really not enough space to really play a damn game of cards. I mean, you could do it if you're little kids or something, you know, but nowadays I really suggest what they do is they, you know, plan for people with laptops, you know, but this is nice. This is you know? really nice. So that's the other seat. So basically you have these, these wide doors these jump seats and because this car is only 30,000 or something like that dollars before you start loading it down with the rear entertainment package and all that you know basically they, they pretty much made a really good people hole right here especially if you don't want the uh, restrictions that having an SUV would get you because ultimately a minivan is ultimately about hauling as many people as you could possibly haul so they got all this stow and go flat folding this that and other so you this thing looks really, really cool. It's like, you know, Chrysler always put together a pretty good car. And, uh, you know, some people scoff at their reliability. But the one I think one thing that does hurt reliability is the fact that they use a lot of, um, you know, it, situations just like that ZF transmission that I pointed out and how they're going to have to change the ZF transmission shifters from the 8-speed. And that's not really Chrysler's fault because that transmission was used just like on that Jeep Grand Cherokee right there. That transmission was used on so many cars, including Audis. That really, I don't understand how it ever made it past beta, but you know what, it did. And because it did, you know, everybody's just got to deal with it. Then up here you have the, uh, uh, what is it called? The um, climate control for the back. So uh, basically they they put together a really good, and look how much leg space there is. It's like even with that seat back, I could sit back here, you know? It's pretty in effect, that's pretty awesome. You know, a lot of leg space. Okay, so it has a power pop back 
trunk. Very, very deep cargo capacity. I don't know if Uber will want to use these. Maybe they should. Maybe they should get a lot of black uh, Pacificas and use these for their Uber services because, you know, this is a big damn people hauler. That's its main function. That's what it does. This is, a, this is a real upgrade over the town and country that we have. This would be a really, really nice upgrade. This is a good looking people hauler and you can get a lot of kids up in here. And there's the button, the buttons, nice. Okay, uh-oh, uh-oh, I hear some power over here. Hold on, hold on. Uh-oh, I hear some power. Wait, wait, wait. Oh boy. Wow, that looks good. I thought this was a Hellcat when I came in. It's not a Hellcat. It's a regular 392. I don't, I don't, I, I don't really. I'm not crazy about Chargers, but I had no choice but to get a Charger. I, I wanted the 300 yeah. Hellcat, but I really didn't have a choice. Does that work for you, man? Yeah, you want, you want them. <laughs> oh, wow, it's a monster. So y'all, y'all, y'all haven't gotten any yet. And this is the same car in red with the white interior. You know? Now, my problem is when you're going on trips and everything, the white interior obviously is probably not the best idea because of the fact that it's going to get nasty quick. A vehicle like this is really like these are claw seats, and they look really good for claw seats. A vehicle like this, it's not a good idea to have a white interior, not unless you understand that you're going to be cleaning this bastard a lot. And as you can see, it also has the standard Uconnect base radio instead of the Uconnect touch. But um, once again, I mean, you're going to be cleaning this thing a lot. And especially if you got these kids, filthy hands, blowing snot everywhere, throwing up in your car and everything. It's like, we can't have that. So ultimately, cloth seats, I don't like. I really don't like it. And I hate to sound critical, but cloth white seats, you're just asking for headaches. It's a great looking car and everything, and I'm pretty sure the reliability will be right around where the town and countries was, unless things have really been improved. But uh, cloth white seats for children? Uh-uh. In fact, you can't trust these adults because they'll be picking their nose and they put boogers on. Like they'll be, if you watch these people carefully, what they'll do is they pick their nose and then they rub boogers on the underside of the seat. Next thing you know, them boogers get hard. And next thing, you could, you could cut yourself on one of them boogers. It's ridiculous. But cloth white, this is a nice interior. It's a nice luxurious interior, but it, this is absolutely not the kind of car you want to have an interior like this on. And it looks great. It looks great. Don't get me wrong, but you, you understand what I'm saying. I'm just saying it's going to get dirty quick. This is going to get really dirty. This is going to get really, really dirty. I was really hoping they had the plug-in hybrid version, especially the one with the entertainment system, but they don't have that yet. But, uh, you know, only time will tell. This won't be the first video and it won't be the last that I do for this. Because I actually have an older town and country with a lot of miles on it to uh, get rid of. And a town and country, you don't lease. What you do is you finance that. Because when you finance it, you automatically understand that, you know, you're going to have this thing for a while. And we've had that, that other one, like, between 60 and 70,000 miles. It's been a perfectly good car. No problems. Very reliable. So I, I really trust Chrysler when it comes to this vehicle. And, and basically, the sales say it for themselves. I mean, when it comes to the minivan market, Chrysler owns the minivan market for a good reason. You know, the, these cars don't compromise like the uh, Honda Odyssey and the Toyota whatever, because I don't even really care about those, those boring Japanese Econo boxes. I don't need no four-cylinder. I need me a V6. Without the auto cruise control? Yeah. yeah. All right. Just, are you backing up too fast? It breaks for you. Right. Yeah, make sure you don't run the children over. Tell my fiance about this one. She's like, oh, I'll be good with the Honda Accords in the winter. Honda Accord? Yeah, How many kids you got? Five? Yeah, no, nah, I think you need something bigger. Well, two on two college already. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. so, it's not bad. Hmm. Alright. Fine. I'm going to try to 
it's a very quiet wheel. Oh yeah. Well, that the V6 and the um, and that uh, the new transmission. Yes. Yeah, they, I mean, you can't. They you, they put that in everything. You really can't go wrong with it. The only thing people complain about is they like, yeah, the ninth gear. You you never really get to it unless you're speeding, yeah. which is something like you don't really do. So you know, you might as well just had an eight. But whatever. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. This has the rear backup. Yes, it does. Yep. <laughs> it says how close you're getting when you turn the stand wheel and move to the lines. The red oh, it has lane departure. Yeah. Oh, right. blind spot. Yeah, blind spot lane departure system. Oh, okay. I got you on the blind spot. Yeah. Yep. Right now, it changes around. You can actually drag drag the apps from. Yeah, that I already I checked that out. I want I wonder if um, we'll get the updates for that on the other cars. Like the Hellcat has it, but yeah. the uh, Jeep doesn't, or not yet. Anyway, I don't know if we're gonna should, get that. I don't know if it's coming out or not. I, I don't I know if it should so. be coming out. <laughs> oh yeah, why not? It's a V6. Yeah. What are you gonna do? It's a V6 or a 9 speed, it's supposed to be fast. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's, it's in fact, it only feels a little bit slow, just a little slow, probably to charge it with the same engine. It's not bad. Should make a Hellcat main round. <laughs> and and the, uh, the funny thing actually, is, how they, many people would they, buy it? They, there's a concept out already. <laughs> I, I saw that picture. Yeah, it's crazy. That'd be wild. Do you know how many people would be lined up to buy that thing? Yeah. You got a minivan with a, a, a the world's most powerful uh, supercharged V8 minivan. 707 horses. All-wheel drive. Because, you know, they, had, they got an all-wheel drive charger coming, which was what disappointed me about mine. I found out really, really quickly, you can't drive that car in snow and ice. You just can't do it. Well, I know they come out with, with a GT Challenger all-wheel drive. GT Challenger? Yeah. yeah. Are they getting rid of one of the minivans? They're or? done already. Huh? They're done already. Okay, so basically it's just a Pacifica, That's no it. more Dodge Caravan. Right? Exactly. Dodge yeah, I don't think they really need it. I don't think they really need it. Yeah, I mean, for the this thing's pretty powerful. It's like for the speed that they give you, it's like most people aren't even going to drive that fast unless they're on the highway anyway. Yeah. yeah. The has a very smooth ride. Oh no, no, no it's perfect. It, it's actually really, really perfect. I like the side, side windows right here. You know, window looks. Yeah, this is pretty different. Hmm. Biggest side mirrors as well. That looks fantastic. So how long until the plug-ins come? About. Um, I, I guess they estimated within the summer probably. Yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. Well, you're looking at the first hybrid baby. Dust. <laughs> That's crazy. He's like, oh my god, was that a minivan? <laughs> That's pretty big. Well, actually, the uh, town of country, actually, Pacifica, they're not minivan that has the horsepower. Yeah, because all those cars come up like four cylinders now. Right? Well, I mean, they got the Santa's six cylinder, but that's pushing like 242, 240, or maybe a 285. That's pretty fast. I think it's 282. It's still fast for Yeah. It's that transmission. Oh, that transmission and that engine, yeah. Uh, you got some pretty powerful stuff coming out. Yeah. Man, if they build something like that, if they build something like that, 
at, like every like like it, it would be crazy how many of those things would like would sell. You know, it would be insane. It would just be wild to see something like that. So I, d I doubt they'd do that though. But it would be so cool if they did. That's different. Or or even better, what psychologist? Oh, before? psychologist license. You know, I've never seen that before. I haven't seen a psychologist. Never before. Yeah. I've never seen a psychologist. So wait, there's an emergency psychologist that has to he has to get somewhere and park immediately. I so don't know. I guess what? when you're driving, you have a, 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 a meltdown or a breakdown, you can pull and stop him. I guess somebody talk to the doc. Something, I don't know. Just... No, they, they must call him to the scene in order to talk people off the roof like before they jump out. That's, <laughs> that must be what it is. An emergency psychologist. That's I, it. I've never seen that ever in my life before. That's deep. <laughs> that's, that's special. <laughs> Very special. It's like, yeah, who, who's going to help when there's a mass murderer? And uh, he's about to commit a crime. Who are you gonna call? Close down here. There's a corner in front of us. The emergency psychologist. And this guy drives like shit. You see this? Yeah. First of all, he cut me off. I'm gonna just let him go because he's crazy. He, he cut everybody. This fucking guy cut me off number one, and then he's cut, tailgating cut. people. Cut everybody else off. That's fucking nuts. Yeah, this is the man who's who's taking care of my mental health. I'll, I'll Oh, is uh, 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 they got good stereo. Is there a subwoofer in this? It know, almost sounded like there was. You got more, you got more stations. So in part, new music, new music, new music. Let's get back here too. There you go. Slot for the dollar, coin, quarter, nickel, dime, and penny. Okay. Well, actually, dime and penny goes there. So this is the first, the first card actually has a slot for a, a full a for that dollar card. for that gold yeah. for that gold coin. Yeah. yeah. First card I ever seen ever had it. So. All right. Got a slot down here too. Wow, they got lots and lots of space in this thing. This would be cool to yeah. This would be really really cool for the you know. Driving down. I actually got the control right here. The control? The digital controls right here. Uh, it's not. Oh, there it is. Yeah, push the auto button. Okay. Oh, they're gonna make oh, yeah, okay. So you can do the doors. Wow, it's hot. Oh, it's a double tap. Okay, all right. See, what's unique about the doors? Hit it right here. Uh huh. Versus. Okay, yeah, that's the lock button. All right, all right. Gas again. Okay. Does this automatically come out just because you're near it? No. It doesn't. Yes. So you just have to, okay, just push it. Okay. Mm-hmm. 